It rolled toward a brook where a pig was sitting in the mud. Hello, pig, said the pancake. Oink, said the pig. You're a good-looking pancake. The pancake began to boast. I just rolled away from the woman who cooked me, her six children who wanted to eat me, a cow grazing in a field, a duck swimming in a pond, a cat, nap a cat napping on a rock, a sheep eating flowers in the meadow, and a rooster crowing on a fence. If I can do that, I know I can cross this tiny little brook. Of course you can, said the pig. But let me help you. Such a good looking pancake should not get wet. Just roll onto the tip of my nose. I will carry you across the brook. Such a kind pig would never want to eat me, thought the pancake. How clever I am to cross the brook this way. So the pancake rolled onto the pig's nose. The pig smiled. Then he flipped the pancake off his nose, right into his mouth, and in one large gulp, he swallowed it. The pancake got swallowed, Aiden. By then, the woman, the children, the cow, the duck, the sheep, the cat, and the rooster came running to the brook. There sat the pig with a smile on his face. Have you seen a large pancake roll by? asked the woman. You must be the one who cooked that tasty pancake, said the pig. It was delicious, scrumptious, in fact. You ate our pancake, cried the children. Now we have no breakfast. I have an idea, said the mother. I will cook another pancake, a bigger one, enough for everyone. Best idea I ever heard, said the pig. So the children, the cow, the duck, the cat, the sheep, the rooster, and the pig followed the woman home where she cooked the biggest and best pancake ever. They watched her flip it, and no one said a word about tasting it. Then they ate the pancake before it could roll away. Uh -huh.